Hi, it's me again from Rhonda's Try Artistry. Um, today's video is this one right here. This is a colander pour, and uh, as you can see, the shine on it, and I'm sorry about the glare of the lights that I have in my uh, studio slash great room area, um, but it is gorgeous, and I'm very impressed with this uh, ready mix pouring paint. Um, it's really amazing that it comes up with this type of machine. So uh, anyway, let's get you down on the canvas. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to click the notification button and don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you're liking the videos that I'm doing, you know, please don't uh, hesitate to uh, contribute to uh, Tri Artistry as well. We'd uh, appreciate that. But let's get you down on the canvas. Uh, today's gonna be fun. All right. Bye for now. Hi. All right, so we're gonna do a colander pour today um, with 20 by 20 uh, canvases. I'm gonna use this small one for one of them, and I'm gonna use this big one for the other. Just see what the difference is, right? Uh, we are gonna be doing peacock colors. So I'm gonna use, actually I've never used this stuff yet. I think I've used it sparingly in other areas but never as a full project so I'm gonna try them and it's the artist loft um, acrylic already pre pre mixed um, pouring paint so I'm gonna use blue I've got purple of course you got to have some white uh, and then uh, this green aqua green and of course black so those are my colors today, and so I'm gonna start pouring into um, my cup here. We need 15 ounces. So you take 20, uh, 20 times 20, because it's 20 length, 20 width, uh, and you divide it by 28. So it's 14.2857, so I'll do 15 just to be on the safe side. All right, so I've got this cup here, and um, I decided instead of using this one, I'm just gonna try this the first one and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start with um, white, end with white. So I'm gonna put them in my order of the colors that I want. So I think I'll do it this way. No, because I don't want white and black to be together because that makes great. So, all right. So then I'm going to go, oh, put this down here. I'm going to go down the other side of the cup. Great thing about this stuff is that it's already mixed and you don't have to mix it yourself. Bad thing is, is that it's a little expensive. So we'll see how this all turns out. Oops, I forgot the black was supposed to go there. All right, that is all right. I'm just gonna finish with black then. No, I don't think so. Look at how perfect that makes that. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so I think on this one, we'll use the larger colander first, and then we'll do the smaller one next. That 
look like this summer? I better make sure. Okay. Let's try this thing. And that's what the can or the cup looks like. So it's coming out already. And as Molly says from Molly's artistry, you have to do it super slow, right? So let's see how this goes. going out very fast. It's not working out like I had hoped with this guy, so I don't know if it doesn't have as much. I'm put him in a cup so that he can stay there. Well, it's pretty. Too much black, I think. So the next one I won't use as much black.
So I think for this, it's beautiful. I love it. It's got a lot of pretty um, colors to it, but it's awfully slow, so it's really thick. And so you've got to remember that when you're doing it, you can't be impatient. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what this looks like um, finished. Shoot, that didn't look very good. Okay. It's very pretty though. Too much black in my mind, not enough contrast. Um, and I see no, hardly any of that green. So the next one with the smaller colander, I'm gonna put very little black in there just to have a little bit of contrast is all. More white and uh, a lot more green. So we'll try that here in just a minute. See if I can do this with my, I'll take my glove off. Bye.